Hello students, it's Lamine again, Pablo N6. Now we're doing module 13. Judicial control is our topic. We're using public law book for N6. Students are also advised to bring their own books. Judicial control or judicial review refers to the control, organization, and conduct of government administration regarding the validity of administrative proceedings. There are four forms of judicial control. There's internal control, control by parliament, investigation by the power protector or parliamentary official, control by the judiciary. Judicial control. It's the right that people have to ask a court to review administrative action that they do not agree with. This is based on the just administrative action, section 33 of act number 108 of 1996. That is the constitution. If judicial authority finds that the decision is unlawful, unreasonable and procedurally unfair, it can make any of the following orders to rectify the situation. One, an order declaring an administrative decision invalid. Two, ordering the administrator to reconsider his or her decision. Three, Replacing the decision with the court's own decision. Four, ordering government to pay damages to the affected person. Right? Statutory appeals. As far as statutory appeals are concerned, the Constitution makes a provision for appeal in South Africa. So courts can only exercise jurisdiction of appeal if allowed by law. An appeal is appropriate when it is alleged that the court came to a wrong conclusion on the facts or misinterpreted the law. Any person convicted of any offense by any lower court, even if such person is merely discharged upon conviction, may appeal against such conviction and against any resultant sentence or order. So there are four types of appeal, three types of appeal. An appeal from lower court to high court, appeal from high court to Supreme Court of Appeal, and an appeal by a statutory body, that is a non-judicial, right? Those are non-judicial matters. Those matters which are, are, not, are not taken to court. Those, those are matters which are, here, are usually held by the tribunals, right? For example, appeal to a liquor license board. If a license was not awarded, Let's move to reviews. A review is used when administrative proceedings is objected to. Once there's an objection, then the matter must be taken on review. This is where the judiciary checks other branches of government. The following are the forms of reviews we have. The revision of lower court by means of notice of motion. Those are cases from, say, magistrate court to higher courts, to high court, or from high court to Supreme Court of Appeal. Common law revision of proceedings of administrative action where law creates a revision or appeal. Revision of proceedings of statutory bodies, that is, license boards, the boards, of which all administrative proceedings are subject to common law revision. 
Courts can also review the proceedings of voluntary associations and bodies if they exceeded their authority or in case of irregularity. Let's go to the interdict. I'm sure you've heard about the interdict. Interdict. What is an interdict? An interdict can be defined as a summary court order applied on urgent basis. In an interdict, an applicant may apply for an order forcing a person to do something or refrain from doing something. An interdict is a speedy remedy where rights have been infringed or about to be infringed. Requirements for an interdict were set out in the case of Setlochelo versus Setlochelo in 1914. It's a leading case up until today. This case is more than 100 years now but it's still leading. There's no other decision after this one which was contrary to this, right? These are the requirements. There must be a clear right according to this case. Injury actually committed or reasonably apprehended. Absence of similar protection by any other ordinary remedy. These are the three requirements. So there are two types of interdicts. There's a prohibitory interdict and mandatory interdict. The prohibitory interdict is self-explanatory. It stops a person from committing a specific wrongful act in a particular way. For example, the parents of a minor girl may obtain an interdict to stop a married man from seeing their daughter the mandatory interdict. Mandatory interdict directs a person to do something he or she is in law obliged to do. For example, to issue a license. Failure to comply with an interdict amounts to contempt of court. Right? What is contempt of court? Com contempt of court is a criminal case. If you, you failed to to comply with the court order, then you are in contempt. And it's a, crim it's a criminal case, it's serious, and people usually don't care about this, but it's a very serious case. Mandamus. Mandamus is an order from superior court to any administrative body, that is government authority to do what that body is obliged to do under law or refrain from doing. It cannot be issued to compel an authority to do something against statutory provisions. Right? Let's move to declaration of rights or a declaratory order. It comes to play when there is an obvious legal dispute or uncertainty with an administrative organ. Court can issue a declaration of rights to solve the dispute. Court will not issue a declaration of rights for a purely academic matter. In other words, for a matter which is, which is not clear. Opposition in criminal trials an administrative order can be disputed and the validity thereof may be used as a defense in a criminal case once disputed. This is the end of module 13. I thank you. Be safe. I'm coming with module 14. Bye-bye.